Yo, I'm back. Another beaver lodge here. It's a big beaver lodge, you guys. You can't see it right now, probably, but it's right about there, across this pond on the shoreline. That's a big lodge. There's probably gonna be some nice bank and stuff down there. I might even bring a snare or two with, just to make sure I got enough stuff, because it's a couple hundred yard walk. A lot of open water down there. That's gonna be a big lodge. I haven't trapped this place in probably 25 years. This is a buddy of mine. Um, first time I trapped ever out here was with my dad. So, you know, he passed away in 97. So I'm thinking around 93, 94 is when I trapped this place out here. So 16, 26 years ago, you guys. Crazy how time flies like that. Um, so why don't you guys remember, you know, pass down this tradition. It's kind of a dying art, you know. Um, and it's really a necessity. It's the best possible um, management tool we have for beaver, coyotes, and other things, you know, is trapping. Um, they don't um, die naturally at a fast enough rate to keep the populations down. Anyway, guys, let's get out on this beaver house and see what we can find. I'm going to grab my chisel and locate some runs this time for you guys, all right? Let's do it. All right, guys. Uh, trap here. Yeah, nice little rat hut right here. I don't know. Hopefully I can get into it and set a trap. Side here. Now, I know a lot of you people can't set rat traps or rat huts like this. But in Minnesota we can, so I don't know. Sorry, guys. You know, the, the key to doing setting these rat huts successfully like this is to make sure and wet your wet the hole. Plug it back up, you know. And when you're done trapping, do the same thing, you know. There's a big feed pile, feed pile in here. There you go, got a bunch of wet stuff here. Like so. Got a nice spot for the trap to sit yet. Inside that hut. Got the best rat trap ever built right here in my hands. And that is the Victor number one stop loss. Right. Get this guy in here, like so. Set it right on that muskrat pad. When these muskrats are, let me see here, there we go, okay. Muskrat's gonna climb inside there to eat. Get caught in that trap, and then they're gonna go down the drowning hole. And that's why we have some wire here, going down to that trap. Right there. Tuck all that inside the hole. And you take all this wet material and you plug that hole up because now when the snow comes or the winter, the you know, it starts getting cold out, um, this wet stuff is going to make a seal around that hole and it's going to freeze. If you have snow available, cover it with snow also. Anyway, that rat trap's set. Let's see if we got some beaver. <laughs> got this big beaver lodge here. It's all open. Must be quite a few beaver in here. But there's a there's a run right there and a run over here. Normally I would find these runs with my ice chisel, but it's all wide open, so that's not gonna happen. Um, there is another run, in fact, coming out the back of the lodge down there. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It just comes out randomly and kind of goes in like five directions. Looks like the beaver are going out over there, under this tree, around here. Um, normally this would be all froze over by now, but you can see this big feed pile here. And the, the beaver have it open all the way down to their dam down there. I'm gonna set a trap on their dam too. Um, just a random spot down there where they've been coming up and chewing and stuff. Um, yeah, 
I'm going to switch my battery in the GoPro here because this bugger's about to die. And then we're going to set some 330s on some H stands. Guys, right, this is going to be a pain. I'm going to go swim in here shortly. So don't be surprised when I do. Ugh. Everything's going right there for a minute. Oh. All right, you guys. Beaver Lodge is up there. There's a deep run right out front here of this lodge. I'm gonna attempt to set it. This in the bottom right here, and the other one will go in the bottom right here next to it. And I'm just hoping that the beaver decides to swim right between them because that is the only way we're gonna get this beaver. Any of these beaver, well, in this trap anyway. I'll put a log right over here. Maybe they'll. I get discouraged and yeah okay this is a wide run so if I don't have nothing tomorrow don't be surprised Down on my H stand here. Like so. Oh. I'm just gonna run this right through the eye holes of this H stand. Just like that. Stands going down to the bottom right between these sticks. Okay? Wish me luck. Alright, they're on the bottom. It's on the bottom. That's gonna be a Hail Mary play for sure. Well, I'll wire this to the top of this stick right here, you guys. And, um, yeah. We'll see if we have a beaver here tomorrow. There we go. Shove that at the bottom a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna climb out. Okay. three over here. All right, you guys. Dam back here. This is just going to be a kind of a Hail Mary set, I'm going to really call it. Um, <clears throat> you can see it's all open water here. 
where the Bieberman, whoa, coming up here and such. And uh, all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to put a kind of buried here. You know, I don't know. I'm not, I, don't, I might not catch anything. Who knows? You know, they, they'd probably swim right around if they wanted to. But that's not always the case. Put a little blocking and stuff down. kind of go like this there we go that way it's half submerged like the law requires I'm gonna shove this in here like so I'll shove the other side in here like so there we go and then I'm gonna take some of this grass Laying here, I'm gonna dra kind of go like this because it's gonna this is gonna take no time. This stuff's gonna freeze up. Got my wire over here. Shove this in the bottom. Stake it down. Actually, we're gonna shove it the bottom right here. Stake it down. There we go. Going nowhere with this trap. Or, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe God will get an otter in. You know, you just never know. See, sets. There's that. I think I'm going to add some stuff over here. I can see the beaver's been definitely working out in this area. I'm going to grab some wet grass and stuff. On the back side, probably here. <clears throat> There's all kinds of grass and rushes and... I mean, it looks like look, it looks like somebody's ripped the dam out. To be honest, I'm sure the water's getting backed up, and I need these critters out of here. You know, we flood farmland and all kinds of stuff, and do lots of damage. People don't realize. Some people don't realize. I should say. Um. Yeah, I'll just grab some of this. I think like this. Look at that. Just gonna put that on this kind of stick here. I'm just gonna go just like that. Just blocked it off a little bit. Break up the outline of the trap. I'm even gonna put a stick across the top of it here. Kind of break up the break up the one of the jaws. Well, we're gonna leave it like that. Might be nothing, might be something. We'll find out tomorrow. What's up everybody? Back for our first check on this beaver lodge today. There's actually a rat house over here I'm gonna to set to. If you can set up a trap on some rats when you're going to your beaver houses, I'd advise you to do it. Hopefully I get some beaver day. Um, I'm gonna be pulling these traps tomorrow, just a two day set on this place. But it's about, I don't know, it's probably three or 400 yard walk across this lake and we're supposed to get a lot of snow in the next couple days. And um, yeah, I don't wanna be trudging a half a mile through 15 inches of snow to check these beaver traps, so. Anyway, let's get at her. All right, guys. Um, well, I don't know. I, I had a rat. Oh, there's a rat. There's a rat in that one. There's a rat in there. He chewed the hole out here a little bit. There we go. Looks like a nice rat. Guys, there it is, that Victor stop loss right there. Got this rat, it's a really big rat too, just a beautiful muskrat. See, that's why I set everything, you know, you, you uh, 
get a chance to set traps, you know, get a trap in there. That muskrat's worth three bucks. You know, they, I mean, they're for really honestly on a scale of one to ten is worth nothing right now. But you guys can't even make any money. I mean, you can't pay for gas. It's been like that for the long, long time. But it's more, you know, trapping is a management tool. Now, I've got this house here. All this wet stuff yet. I'm going to plug this hole back up. Really good. Now, these rats are going to be fine. This house will freeze back up inside just, just fine. And they won't have any issues living in it throughout the winter. Or feeding because it's a feeder house. So, well, we got a rat. Let's go check these beaver traps. All right, guys. Got my Hail Mary set back here. I made in this dam and I can see there's brown there's something in that set there's something in that set is that a big beaver goes to show that you just never know you know you go out and you make a set if you think it's gonna work for you many times it is you know big beaver right by the head look at that that's awesome you guys Big beaver right by the head in that set. It got cold last night, and this was all open that you guys saw. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pull this trap now because this is going to freeze up hard as a rock tonight. So hopefully, maybe we'll have another big beaver over in the lodge over there. Because I, the good news is I can actually set this beaver trap somewhere else. Let's pull this big guy out of here. Take a look. God, that's awesome. That worked out so perfect, too. Look at that perfect head catch on him. Oh, yeah. Nice big beaver. Nice big beaver, you guys. Keep that. That Belial 330 made short work of him. As you can see, he didn't go anywhere. Let's get him up here where you can see him a little bit better. There we go. It's a nice blanket beaver. Sweet. Well, one down out of this place, guys. Oh, I don't know, guys. It took me a while. I dug that eight stand out, and it was sprung and hung up in the brush. I don't know what the heck could have happened. Something ate my beaver. Or, I mean, there was just a little bit of fur in there. So I don't know. You know, it's really weird. Got one more H stand out here in this deep water. This was kind of a Hail Mary. I don't know if I caught anything, would have caught anything. We're gonna get out here and take this stick with me because I need that at the next stop. Oh. Oh. Here we go. I can get over there. good news is I just moved just moved this H stand just moved this H stand with my axe and I saw the top of it wiggling back and forth really slow and for you guys that have trapped before you know when you do that that means there's something there's some weight in there of some sort so oh there's yeah I can feel the I knew it was I mean I knew there was something in it what is it though? A baby beaver, or I should say a small beaver, coming in, suitcase caught perfectly. I was worried this trap wasn't in a good spot because I mean this run is really deep and weird and kind of not cool, but as you can see by this perfect suitcase catch on that small beaver, that that was not the case. Well, I'm going to reset this trap, you guys, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that quick. All right, guys, so we'll recap this. Check here. Uh, nothing in the back. I had something, I don't know if it was by the tail or what it was. Um, messed up my H-stand. Cut small beaver right there coming in. 
that means I'm sure beaver came out through that run there. Got that big old honking Thanksgiving beaver on the dam down there. That's a big one down and a small one down. I'll set a rat trap. So we'll be back tomorrow again to check. All right, guys. So it's the second check on this house, and I'm actually going to pull these traps just because it's, you know, it's half a mile walk out here. Um, when we get all that snow, I it just, it's going to be a lot of work, you know. Um, I can see there's a be there's going to be a beaver in this trap already, I can tell. I'm going to assume anyway, maybe not. Well, the, the H stand right there is actually tipped backwards. That tells me that, that, uh, there's a beaver or something in it. It's, it's, something's happened here anyway. Looking across the way over there too, my other set looks kind of, what do we got here? Oh yeah, there's a, there we go. Another suitcase catch on this beaver. We're gonna just take that right there off. Get this guy out of the water for you quick. Oh, perfect catch on that beaver again, look at that. Perfect catch, you guys. Oh, get this. So, eight sands are, I don't like them, but they, they, they do work, you know? They cut your time in half on a lot of stuff. I prefer to use them in deep runs where, you know, it's tough to, uh, where it's tough to get traps down there, but there's one suitcase caught beaver right there. This set in the back, I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't seem like a very good used set, but it was a hole in the back of the run. And just looking, I can see, I don't see bubbles, I don't see, I can see the trap down there, I think, too. I think, I think. Let's see here. Let's grab this stick and we'll tell here in a second. Yep. Trap still set. This is the I was just looking at this out here though. It's kind of weird looking. Well, this is me from yesterday. Okay. Um, there's a lot of air right there. There might be another beaver in this one. Who knows? Another small one or. I'm guessing if there was a big one or something in here this trap would be moved around or something would happen. There might not be anything in here. Something's definitely came close to uh, set though. I'll just grab it and we'll find out. Nope, nothing in that set. Huh. All right. There's still a big beaver in here someplace. I got a feeling he's injured or something, maybe. I mean, deep beaver are extremely tough. He's, nothing's gonna happen to him. Maybe I caught him on the foot and whatnot. But, all right guys. Well, three beaver out of this lodge. Not horrible, two little ones, one big one. I'll probably come back here in the spring and maybe trap along the shoreline down there and try to get this other big one out of here. But anyway. Hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna do some beaver trapping videos here right in a row. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.